Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. I'm going to play Nahida Story Quest. I hope this doesn't take long. <laughs> uh, Sapientia Oro must this chapter. Okay. I mean, that's, this is the only story quest left. You and Paimon notice that many people in Sumeria are talking about dreams. Oh, <laughs> I'm already here. Hello, traveler. Have you ever heard of a moment of dreams? A moment of dreams? Oh, that sounds like some kind of sweet drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid not. It's the name of an event we started to hold regularly. Dreams have become quite the hot topic in Sumeru, and many people are excited to share the dreams they've seen at night. Now everyone can dream ever since the Archon Quest is over. The same goes for me. The last time I dreamed was when I was but a little child, so I can't help but feel excited and nostalgic about dreaming again. <laughs> oh, right. Everyone's able to dream again now. Yep. Yes. We organized an event to give everyone with new dreams a platform to freely share their experiences. And thus our event, a moment of dreams, was born. So it's kind of like a fireside chat. You could say that. We hear all sorts of wild and fabulous stories every day. Really, why not have a listen for yourselves? Yeah, but to us, dreaming is as normal as breathing. Wait, <laughs> but if there are free drinks and snacks involved, then Paimon might um... consider it. So you mean, you've already seen many dreams? Mm-hmm. But we're we not need to get so excited. <laughs> it's really nothing special. No, no, no. We need experienced participants like you to share your experiences with dreaming. Please allow me to address you two as dream, dream experts. experts. Oh, expert? <laughs> Paimon kind of likes it. Now you seem interested. <laughs> Please, follow me to the meeting place. It won't take much of your time. Rest assured, you'll find all the drinks and snacks you'd like there. Wow! How accommodating! <laughs> all right, then. Sign us up! Uh, but wait, uh, Paimon's getting ahead of herself again. We should see what the traveler thinks first. Uh, why aren't you saying anything? <laughs> You're the boss. I don't think I really have a choice. <laughs> all right! Hmm. Come Paimon gets the choice now. <laughs> well, yeah. Let's see. Here we go. Now he does story quests. Do you know what's the most important part of being an expert? <clears throat> well, I suppose it must be accumulating knowledge and sharing your experiences. Nope! It's all about the title! From now on, Paimon will be known as Paimon, the dream expert. Right. Sorry to interrupt everyone. We finally have some real dream experts joining us. Esteemed experts, in this way, please. Esteemed. <laughs> now, if anyone has any questions, please feel free to ask them. They must be dream experts from another land. Great. Oh, I have a question. Me first. Me first. No rush. Everyone, please line up and ask in an orderly fashion. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> wow. Paimon didn't expect him to be so enthusiastic. My question is simple. My everyday life is very difficult, so I would like to become a slime in my dreams. Huh? How can I do that? I would like to become a slime in my dreams. Uh Okay. The first time, Paimon became an animal slime. Paimon was shot by an adventurer's arrow and flew in the sky all night long. The second time, Paimon became a dendro slime. A group of kids thought Paimon was a radish and pulled out all the grass on her head. Oh, it was super painful. The third time, Paimon became a cryo slime. In the end, Paimon was captured by a chef and turned okay, into so a Paimon has has dreamed of that before, okay, but how? And the to... third time, Paimon became a powerful Geo Slime and went to take revenge on the forest boar that used to bully Paimon. But then the boar showed up with all of its relatives and Paimon <laughs> lost again. 
God damn it. Wait, why did all of your dreams end so tragically? <laughs> because slimes are monsters, even though they look cute, they usually cause trouble and end up getting killed by adventurers. Okay, that's a good uh, analogy there. So. Things don't tend to end well for monsters. Believe yeah. Paimon. Want to interrupt, but she grabs the standard tropes of adventure stories. I suppose you're right. They are monsters after all. Yeah, so you don't want to be a slime. Want to experience game. a different <laughs> life, but it seems that becoming a monster would be even worse than my current life. Hmm. Maybe I'd be happier if I became just a regular finch or fish. Well, looks like being an expert is way easier than Paimon imagined. Next. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. <sighs> Esteemed Esteem expert. expert. I want to know what posture I should sleep in. So I can have the same dream as the one I had last night. Oh. Uh, well? Yeah, please enlighten this. Hey, you're supposed to be helping. Um, first, why don't you tell Paimon about the dream you want to have again? Oh, it's quite ordinary. I sat and chatted with my wife on a sunny day, listening to the breeze blowing through the valley. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just find your wife and talk with her? There's no need to I wait for a dream. If... Well, uh, yeah. unfortunately, she feeling. passed away. Oh! Uh, sorry. Paimon shouldn't have assumed anything. No, it's fine. I didn't make that clear. I just want a chance to see her again. Try looking at her photos right before you fall asleep. Yeah! What you think about right before falling asleep is probably way more important. Oh, is that all I have to do? Think about it. If you're the one thinking about her, and you're the one that'll be dreaming about her, then it'll be easier to connect your thoughts and dreams. You do have a point. Now it's expert question I'll mark. give it a try tonight. <laughs> Thanks for your wise advice. Oh, my turn, my turn. Hum. I want to know the name of the plant in my dream. No, the name. I want to bring the souvenir box to my room into my dream. Bring the souvenir. Box. I dreamt of a raven flying over the wasteland last night. Does that have any kind of special meaning? Hey, no rush! One at a time! <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> Their questions were way too difficult. We don't actually know anything more than they yeah. do. They didn't really care about the answers. Vivid dreams are just exciting to them. You do have a point. It's more rewarding to explore and contemplate the meaning of a question than to focus on the answer itself. Right now, these people are like wanderers who've starved for three days and three nights and are desperate to replenish their energy. <laughs> Any explanation they get now is like pure sustenance to them. No matter how good the explanation really is. Nahida. Bingo! If she was here, she'd probably be making some similar analogy. Unfortunately, she's super busy right now and may not have time for gatherings like this. But should Dear you? experts, we have another guest who would like to consult you. Surely you might have had to meet Nahida anyway. This is a story quest. <laughs> Is it her? Special. <laughs> it is her. My question is, why didn't you immediately tell me about such an interesting place? Cut to me. All right. Huh? Nahida? How did you get here? Interesting events like a moment of dreams don't happen every day after all. No matter how busy things are, I'd still set aside some time to check it out. Anyway, I really didn't expect to meet you here. Oh, right! If there's anyone that mm -hmm. understands dreams, it's you! You should be able to help us answer all these questions! You're not wrong. Alright, they can ask me anything. The more interesting, the better. <laughs> what? Huh? What's wrong? You were off so excited a minute ago. Why the sudden 
no I guess because she's uh, the Lord. <laughs> she's the Archon. Even so, it's not like I look super intimidating or anything, right? And in terms of reputation and renown, you've also done many great things in Sumeru. Yet they didn't even flinch at you. Not quite the same as approaching an Archon. <sighs> Interesting questions have all vanished in an instant. It appears I'm the one spoiling the fun here. I'll see myself out. Mm -hmm. That's not true, Nahida. I don't want to get in the way of the original purpose of a moment of dreams, which is to let people gather here and freely share their marvelous dreams. Now the atmosphere here is like water poured into a container. The water is more secure and settled, but it has lost its free-flowing nature from the river. I just want it to be another drop in the water, not the cold and restrictive container. Is she doing what I think she is? Hmm? She's soaking. Um, hey! It's alright everyone! No need to be shy! The Dendro Archon is really nice, so please just go ahead and ask! Otherwise she'll leave! Uh, alright, I'll give it a try. Okay. Hey, drop the nicknames, would you? <laughs> Besides, I don't want to become a slime anymore. Maybe a finch or fish is more suitable for me. I see. So you want to become a small animal in your dreams, right? Why do you think that sounds good to you? I guess I just want to experience something different. My everyday life is nothing but the same. The sky is right above me, and the ocean just over the horizon. Yet I remain caged in a life of monotony. So you want to experience something new in your dreams? Mm, sorry, I'm getting a little confused. Why don't you seek out some new experiences in real life? <sighs> because if I don't work, I won't have any mora. Sure, I don't want to be out hammering nails and cutting wood every day, but I have aging parents and young children to take care of. By the time this all dawned on me, I realized that my life has already been filled to the brim by trifling matters, and I have no more freedom. But if that's the case, then even if you became a flying bird or swimming fish, you will still be hammering nails and cutting wood in your dreams. The reason is you've already been caged. It doesn't matter what your physical body turns into. Your mind will still be stuck mm. in the same predicament. Really? That sounds pretty terrible. Then what should I do? I don't know everything that you're going through. But how about replacing your hammer? Huh? Replacing my hammer? That's right. Having worked for such a long time, you of all people must know what makes a good hammer. Well, of course. A good hammer needs to be heavy enough to drive the nail in with just a couple taps. And the handle has to have a good grip to it, not too smooth. Come to think of it, I haven't replaced my current hammer in quite some time. You should replace it. Then decorate the handle with something you like. Maybe some ornaments, fur, or hard leather wrapping. Then write the names of your children on it. <sighs> that makes sense. I think it'd give me a good boost of energy at work. A new sense of adventure often begins with the little things in life. <laughs> you don't need to become a bird in the air or a fish in the sea. You only need to do your best in life, and all those things you cherish will become your source of happiness. Yes. Yes, I get it now. This is a real eye-opener for me. I'll go and pick out a new hammer right away. No, I should make one of my own. Thank you, Great Dendro Archon. That's our Nahida. Only you would know how to get right to the heart of the problem. Actually, I didn't really understand the problem. <laughs> because they once saw a worker doing the same thing. Whenever he became tired, he would look at some names on the handle of his tool. After a moment, he'd start to smile. It really surprised me at the time. My guess is that the names on the handle were of important people to him. I'm just drawing from a similar example. Mm -hmm. After observation, I know this kind of behavior motivates people, but why is that? Is it because of excitement, anticipation, or helplessness? Mm -hmm. I really don't know. And even if they could know what's going through his mind, 
It's still difficult to fully grasp his feelings. Oh, Paimon gets what you mean. Huh. Paimon had no idea it takes you so much effort to understand these kinds of things. <laughs> That's why I was a bit nervous just now. But luckily, seeing his happy face in the end reassured me that I didn't say anything wrong. Don't mind me, though. This is just my way of learning. <laughs> asked the experts my question That's earlier good. but i wanted to hear the dendro archon's response too what should i do if i want to see my deceased wife in my dreams every night hmm long for the deceased is she remembering something about... no we she doesn't remember too even if you keep reliving those beautiful memories it will only highlight the emptiness in your real life if your wife were still alive, she certainly wouldn't want to see you like this, would she? No. I suppose not. But our time together in my dreams is not just reliving our past together. I don't know. Maybe it's because I miss her too much. But it's really as if she had come back to life in my dreams. Oh, that's she even remembers each and every dream. After I wake up and then continue dreaming again later, we can pick up our conversation right where we last left off. That's really amazing. Statistically speaking, continuous dreams are extremely rare. It's almost as if my wife has obtained a second life in my dreams. But the more vivid she appears, the emptier I feel and the more painful it is when I wake up. I don't know whether to call it a blessing or a curse. Maybe all of this is rooted in your deep longing for her. Were there any unresolved matters or regrets between the two of you? I don't know. I suppose my biggest regret is that I couldn't spend the rest of my life with her. I really felt like I was ready to move on. I wouldn't be so hesitant now if it weren't for these hyper-realistic dreams I've been having. Huh. You know... They say that whatever's on your mind is what goes into your dreams. But dreams are and will forever be just dreams. We are people living in the real world. It's not good to be overly obsessed with dreams. All it'll do is fill up your mind and eat away at your thoughts. Yes, I know. That's why I'm also a little disappointed in my... And Oops. it's probably not good to let her see me in such a state. <sighs> anyway, thanks for your advice, Great Dendro Archon. Hmm. I'm a little worried about him. I hope he can find a way to cheer up soon. I think I can handle things from here. You'll need to stay here if you find it boring. You're here to have a good time after all. So what, hey, what are we doing now? Check on Ilman. Um, all right. Can we talk to the rest first? Another recurring dream? Yeah, I'm starting oh. <laughs> to wonder if it's Next. some kind Listen. of hint. Another recurring dream. I didn't expect the Dentro Archon to attend this event in person. It's like a dream. <laughs> yeah, damn it. What a lucky day. Just wait till my friends hear about this. I wish my dreams could be a little more practical, you know? Maybe something like becoming rich and famous overnight. <sighs> Let's see. Dendro Archon made a really good point. I need to stop dwelling on my wife like this and move on with my life. Now that I think about it, my wife and I always meet at a familiar place in my dreams. I know where that place exists in reality, but it's a bit far and dangerous. 
I don't dare to go there on my own. But at the same time, I feel as if I should yeah. go and have a look anyway. Perhaps I'll be able to move on once I see that there's okay. nothing there. Otherwise, I'll keep on feeling like everything is covered in a haze. Like I'm only half awake. Once I can stop dreaming about that place, I'll probably be able to get my life back together. Actually, you two are adventurers, right? Sure. If it's okay with you, could you escort me to that place? Yeah, that might also be a good chance for us to unwind. Even if you can't see your wife there, taking in some nice scenery will definitely help cheer you up. Yeah, I hope so too. All right, go ahead and get yourself ready then. Should we? I know it's uh, pretty emotional to talk about it, but you're supposed to forget her. I, I thought uh, Nahida should at least know that she once existed. Well, she is the god of wisdom anyway. You must have many other important things to deal with. No need to stand on ceremony. Besides, I wouldn't have asked to come along if I didn't have a good reason. I wanted to use this opportunity to discuss with you some things that are puzzling me right now. Mm -hmm. Huh. I didn't know the great Dendro Archon could become puzzled too. <laughs> I'm not all that different from you, you know. Alright, let's go. We can talk on the way. Yeah. Go to the place Ilma mentioned. Where is the place? Uh, okay. Perfect, so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get in Nahida trial again some because this is a story quest. I just wanna check six five eight. Okay, I wanna see what the trial looked like later. <laughs> I didn't take a good look. At the trial during the boss. <laughs> ah, it's always nice to go for a leisurely stroll. Huh. Do adventurers often go to places like this? Far more dangerous than this. Huh. I guess so. So this is where you always meet your wife in your dreams? Yes, for the most part. Our place is on the summit, just up ahead. That's not when I here. saw her in my dreams, we didn't do anything but talk about ordinary, mundane topics. I'd tell her about our daughter, Hydar, and she always listened intently. She would also reminisce about the past with me, telling me interesting stories and cracking jokes. It feels like no matter how long we may chat, it's never enough. Sometimes, it's the little things in life that matter the most. This is the part I'm a little puzzled about. Hmm? I'm very familiar with dreams, and what normally, is this? they lack logic <laughs> and continuity. Oh, why are we in upside down? But you said she could remember what you had told her before, right? She could remember what you told her. That's before. right. She always listened to me carefully in real life, and now, she's doing the same in my dreams. She always surprises me with some details from our lives in the real world. The fact that she can remember such things makes me feel like she's alive. Oh, that's pretty weird. Well, dreams are kind of weird to begin with. However, the problem... 
the news that his dreams have too much structure and continuity. Most dreams are far more fragile than you can imagine. Hmm. For example, a loud noise outside your window in the real world could cause your dream self to get loaded into and fired out of a big cannon. Yeah. Another example. If you're thirsty in the real world, then you might find yourself trudging through a desert in your dream. But the appearance of your wife seems unusually stable and unaffected by any outside interference. Statistically, this should be extremely rare. I don't understand it either. But I have no reason to suspect or reject these dreams. They're too beautiful. But I still want to figure out the how and the why. These kind of dreams are novel to me as well. That's why I want to have a look at the scene your dreams have been taking place at. Let's go. Just think of it as a nice little hike to the top of the mountain. Nice little hike. This is the minor idea, yep. Climb to the summit. There is no... <laughs> there is no way to go up. Faster. Guess we're really climbing up. This is sus. Can I make it here? I have to stand in the spot where every three of them are... Maybe I should use college. <laughs> I didn't know there was a puzzle here, what the hell? That was it. It's important to replenish your supplies often when you're out in the water. Okay. <laughs> I saw a four-leaf city plan. There. Where does this go? Just what I wanted. All right. Well, he really wasn't kidding. This place definitely isn't safe. <laughs> no matter. We'll just finish them quickly. <gasps> huh? Are you going to Let's fight go. Terminator? Of course. This is all part of our little trip. Level 90. I want seven that's low but better crit. Of course. No bless, are you kidding me? Of course. God damn it this game. Okay. See anything 
something strange about this place. I do not plan to deny the power of longing. Such an intense but unquantifiable emotion could indeed have the power to organize dreams. His wife must be a really amazing person. Huh? Wait, where'd he go? <laughs> oh, so you are waiting for me here? Well, guess what? I've brought someone amazing with me today. When the Zendro Archon said she wanted to come with me, I could hardly believe it. I'll bring Hydar once I'm more familiar with the way here. She's been telling me that she really misses you. Huh? What's wrong with him? There's nobody there! Wait, Minar. Don't go that way. It's dangerous. Uh-oh, he's gonna fall! Catch him! What the hell? <laughs> Sleepwalking and almost fell. Huh? Sleepwalking? Oh, right. It was all just a dream. The moment I reached the summit, I saw my wife, Minar, sitting there and walked over to her. After I introduced her to you, she seemed a little flustered and started walking away. I told her to stop because of the cliff, and then she seemed to suddenly disappear. A strong wind started to blow around me and the sky mm. grew dark when I realized something wasn't right. I woke up. That sounds pretty wild. Maybe you were just too tired. I don't think so. I slept a lot yesterday and I don't feel very sleepy now. This doesn't feel like uh, sleepwalking. Maybe we've affected the way his subconscious constructs dreams by following him here. Anyway... All that matters is that you woke up safe and sound. I think I know what happened now. I'm sorry. If it weren't for you, I would have fallen. Let's head back now. Don't come back to this place again for the time being. Oh. Okay. Nahida, what's on your mind? Paimon's a little worried now. We still don't have enough evidence to work off of, so it's hard to draw any reliable conclusions yet. But I'm concerned that Ilmon's case may not be unique to him. Oh, right! Come to think of it, there were vivid lots memories. of people from the event who had vivid memories of their dreams. Right. And not only at a moment of dreams, there may be people like this all across Sumeru. We need to understand what's happening and the rate of its development as soon as possible. Then there's no time to lose! Let's head back! Stop standing there, Ilmon! Let's go! Hmm? Why... Why was it zoomed like that? I had a bad feeling about this. Just what will we... Can you put this here? I don't remember. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, anyway. Back to... Back here again. The music change. Archon, but could you at least tell me what happened? 
You all look so serious. Something happened with Ilman. I but... see. I never knew even a dream could be so dangerous. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I'll be sure to notify all the event participants and inform the other staff members about what has happened. Using the event registration list, I should be able to contact more people that were interested in dreams and warn them about the situation. Thank you. That would be very helpful. I wonder what's going on. Let me confirm if all of today's participants are still here. Mm. Atta has already left. It Atta. seems that he was on his way to make a hammer, so oh, yeah. that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, Katya, the a girl. Where's Katya? Has anyone seen Katya? Has she already left? Um, wait. Oh, I, I think she already left. She said there was somewhere she wanted to go. Oh no. Did she want to look for the place from her dreams too? Can you tell us where she went? Yes, she did briefly mention it. Somewhere near Chatracom Cave. Alright, thank you. We'll go look for her. Please help us tell the others not to do anything reckless. Sure thing. <sighs> Who would have known things would have turned out like this? Okay, uh, hold on, let's stop. It's just a dream. How bad could it be? What's all this sudden commotion about? Yeah, it sounds like it's just a dream, but... It's just sleepwalking. They're really overreacting. <laughs> I'm getting... Really sleepy. And the man? Hi, Dar. <sighs> okay, where is this cave? Uh... I wish I can use this song in the teapot. <laughs> All right. Look, she's sitting over there and surrounded by monsters. Did she not see? I think she's also kind of sleepwalking. Come on, let's rescue her. Oh no. Yep, it's the, the same trial. Time for takeoff. Yahoo! Hey, what the hell? Hey! There you go. Illusion shattered. What the Excellent. hell's wrong with this one? There you go. <laughs> God damn it. Professor Aisha. Huh. Huh? Why? Why am I back here again? Dreaming? But what about Professor Aisha? Oh, I see. It was all just a dream. Well, that makes sense. After all, it hasn't changed a single bit. Huh? What? It nearly 20 years and it still hasn't bloomed. <sighs> Does it have something to do with your dream? Please, tell us what you mean. Ah, sorry. I'm still feeling a little groggy. Please give me a moment here. <sighs> Alright, where to start? Right, mm -hmm. this plant. So, Professor Aisha gave me this plant just before she left. She was a good friend of my parents and my first real tutor. She was also an outstanding Amorta researcher. In addition to her extraordinary academic talents, she was also skilled in combat and would accept lots of work from the Adventurers Guild. Oh, so you mean she's left on an adventure? Yes. When I was about 10 years old, she told me that she must go look for the secrets of the Abyss. And oh. that she would be gone for a long time. I grabbed hold of her and wouldn't let go. I didn't know what the Abyss was. I just knew that she was like family to me. She hugged me, 
and we cried for some time until I fell asleep. When I woke up, I was already back home. She still decided to leave, but had left behind a letter for me saying that I was the person she cared for most in this world. She claimed that investigating the abyss could help more ordinary people protect the people and things they care about. Investigating the abyss. She had obtained what? some important evidence during her past adventures. If she didn't set off right away, she might miss the perfect opportunity. Guess Ad Astra Abathosk isn't just a slogan. Hmm. She left a seed in the letter, telling me that if it sprouted and bloomed, then she'd come back no matter what sort of risky situation she was in. She said she looked forward to seeing me all grown up, but strangely, I've tried watering it, feeding it, everything I could think of, but I've never been able to get it to bloom. I even went to ask the Immorta researchers, and they couldn't explain it either. May I have a look at the plant? Of course. I was hoping the Great Dendro Archon could help me solve this problem. What if the plant is not even a real plant? What's wrong? It's an expression pleading for help. She, she looks a little unwell. Um, hold on, we'll be right back. What's wrong, Nahida? You can't tell what's wrong with the plant either. No. I immediately understood what's happening with that plant. I'm just not sure if I should say it. It's not a real plant? This plant is not known to the academic world. It's a new species that her teacher managed to cultivate by some special means. It's a new species that... Judging by its features, I can tell from the moment it sprouted it'll never be able to bloom. <laughs> It can't be. It means that this Professor Aisha she keeps mentioning might have foreseen the danger and was prepared to never return. <sighs> oh my gosh. From my experience observing people, she would undoubtedly regard this as a brutal revelation. When forced to confront such brutal truths, people may break down into tears, talk nonsense, or lose their tempers. I know she has to face the truth, but... At the I same time, I don't want to hurt her. <sighs> Tell me, what should I do? Yeah, that's a tricky one. Um, seems like you've already got a good idea of the feelings she might experience. But should we tell her? Just pushing it all on you? What if she just gets angry at you instead? It's all right. There are all kinds of people, and the examples you observed are just the most extreme cases. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, thank you. Let's go back and tell her. <sighs> oh, what's going on? Oh, okay, it's just a uh, feed. Huh? It'll never bloom? But how is that possible? If a plant is unable to bloom, doesn't that mean it can't reproduce either? All that's left for it to do is slowly wither away. Are you saying she never intended to return? Seriously? So everything she said was a lie? But she meant well. Since the separation was inevitable, she hoped that you would be able to come to grips with such a cruel parting a little later in life. Yeah, her love, care, and attention to you, all those warm moments were real. I guess she had hoped that you could understand and respect her choice after learning the truth. I see. Sorry, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but it's just... Just so much to take in. The dreams are so beautiful. Yet reality is heartlessly cold. I really thought she had come back. I had so much to tell her. These dreams may not be as pure and beautiful as they seem. Some kind of power may be exploiting your feelings. Huh. Really? Yes. So with that in mind, until our investigation...
mission is completed, please return to the event and ignore any further temptations from your dreams. I see. Thank you for rescuing me. And sorry for the trouble. Luckily, the plant didn't get hurt either. Otherwise, I wouldn't have anything left to remember her by. Hmm. Thanks, Traveler and Paimon. Okay. She seems to have finally well. accepted the truth. But I think she'll still need a long time to come to terms with her feeling. I saw her waver the moment you mentioned love. It was almost like a gentle rain, arriving just in time to put out a fire that was about to spread. It's because people have something called empathy. Empathy? Hmm, I see. This is valuable knowledge indeed. By the way, you said there may be something that's trying to exploit their feelings. Any idea what that might be? Yes. What's common between Ilmon and Katya's cases is that they've both lost someone mm, yes. dear to them. And now, they get to meet the people they cherish in their dreams again. And the people feel more real than anything a it regular dream could hope to create. Yeah. Instead of interpreting it as a result of their longing, I have to consider a more antagonistic explanation. Someone is taking advantage of their longing. But what for? Yeah, they're just causing these people to dream. What are they after? This is exactly what we need to investigate. Anyway, let's pay another visit to a moment of dreams. I have a bad feeling about all this. I hope things haven't gotten any worse. <sighs> hmm. Now oh, people are dreaming again, but... <laughs> This is too much. And it made it too real. Probably someone again. Maybe my guess. Maybe someone's making this device or something. Again, <laughs> like turn out story quest maybe. I don't know. Return here again. Wait, I'm here. Oh? We're back. How's everything here? Uh, I am so sorry, Great Dendro Archon. We're still trying to figure out how to explain the whole thing to everyone. Why is a lot of people falling asleep? Or Because of your warning, we've brought dreamers here even if they were completely unaware of the danger. But some of them have already yeah. fallen asleep <laughs> and they haven't woken up for a long time. I fear there's nothing we can do about it. A moment of dreams is just a small interest group. We don't have enough staff members to handle this. Just as I expected. It seems my guess was correct. It's the Dendro Archon. She's back. Uh, what happened? Why have we been gathered here? Many of you here have been experiencing some beautiful dreams. But I'm sorry to tell you that based on our investigation, there's some kind of conspiracy behind them. Before we learn the truth, please don't try to recreate the scenes in your dreams. Whatever you see, don't be tempted by them. Huh? But I don't think it's a big deal. Aren't we just dreaming? Uh, it's not like too. dreams will have an effect on others. But now it looks like we've already, we already met, met two, two people, people who ran up to the countryside alone and got caught in dangerous situations by falling to the temptations in their dreams. That's right. These aren't just dreams. It's serious. All right. I get it, I get it. Still, uh... So does that mean, once we have some conclusive results from the investigation, we can continue to enjoy these dreams? I guess. Yeah, I still want to visit my sister in my dreams. It'll depend. Mm. I'm sorry if what I'm about to say sounds a little offensive, Great Dendro Archon, but... We had a discussion with the folks who just arrived here. In all of our dreams, we were able to reunite with people who were very close to us. They all seemed as if they were alive again, which makes us reluctant to wake up. Yes, that's also what we've observed in our investigation. So if the results of this investigation would mean an end to those dreams, that'd be quite cruel to us. All of us understand that's the danger, true. but perhaps you can't quite understand just how much those people mean to us. I don't think everyone will be on board with the plan to abandon these dreams for good. Mm -hmm. Before the conclusion of the investigation, they'll at least want to meet the people in their dreams one last time and say goodbye. We've never had such a difficult situation before. It appears that not many people are willing to yeah, cooperate. Yeah, I can see that. So they still want to return to their dreams despite knowing the danger? 
It's because you can meet them again. That's why hard to see who's right and wrong here. Yeah. That's right. Compared with these sweet and beautiful dreams, our warnings of danger are dull and emotionless. It looks like the situation will inevitably spiral out of control. The more time we waste, the more people will ignore our warnings and return to their alluring dreams. So, what should we do? Seems we have to go into a dream and find out the truth for ourselves. You have to go into a dream? Petrush, is there anyone here who's experiencing a marvelous dream right now? Uh, let me think. Uh, yes, this way. How can you tell if it's some artist? Please take us there. <laughs> All right then. This lady refused to heed our warnings and fell asleep here a little earlier. Debbie? Actually, I can really sympathize with everyone's feelings on this. I'm I'm sorry, I might have spoken a little out of turn just now. I just think that the gods really don't understand us sometimes. All this commotion's making me wish I could experience this kind of dream too. No <laughs> way! Not on Paimon's watch! I mean... Alright, alright. No need to get so worked up. Hmm. She's only asleep and hasn't started sleepwalking. It seems she hasn't sunk too deep into her dream yet. Do we also need to fall asleep if we want to go into her dream? Don't worry about that. I'm Lesser Lord Kusanali after all. Now, don't be nervous. Just close your eyes. Imagine yourselves as waves gradually rolling onto the beach. You slowly wash over the shore and sink into the sand. <sighs> and... Is this a cutscene or...? Oh... This is like... Uh, wait, what? What's wrong, Traveler? You what? look a little disoriented! That was... That was a dream thing. <laughs> Getting to... to yeah. Oh. Really? Paimon <laughs> didn't notice anything! Yeah, if it was... If it was Lumine, surely... <laughs> This is the Tron Nahida again. And one of these turning us spinning around. Okay. There is no escape. I see everything. That's the one. I like doing this. <laughs> That's so good, man. <sighs> There's no chest I can store anything, right? What is this jump for? Just go back up? Okay. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh this place. Often 
portray a scene from real life, which concurs with our previous so findings. Real, yeah. Really? But what about that space we were in just now? Some kind of hub. You can't mean this is another collective dream? Like the. Yes. Given that so many people have been experiencing these beautiful dreams. I would say it's very likely that they're interconnected. Compared to an interconnected dream, independent individual dreams would be much harder to manage and manipulate. Ah, oh, Paimon gets it now. Well, let's go talk with Debbie. Oh, but there are some other people next to her. Uh, are they dreaming too? If this space is exclusive to Debbie's dream, yeah. Then the others beside her are most likely the people so she cherishes. So I don't cherishes. think they are actually people dreaming this. Probably what? Uh, anyway, we see. should confirm that first, just to be sure. Confirm first, yeah. Huh. How do we do that? Just leave it to me. All right. What? Oh, okay. Tapping Naida's skill all seems to know allows her to hear the inner thoughts, yes. Pull Naida's skill to select a specific person to hear the thoughts. There seem to be many who cannot be read. <coughs> okay. So if they cannot be read, they are probably just... Oh, we're actually using her skill in the story, eh? That's interesting. So this guy's not real. What about this guy? This girl. Doesn't work. I thought just now it says it will work, but I guess those are no names. Doesn't work. Same in okay. Debbie Gaspar Dasima. Oh, yeah. I was about to... The coffee here still tastes the same as ever. <laughs> you two have traveled all around to that. Surely you've all tasted better coffee than this. I suppose so, but no matter how good things may be elsewhere, nothing beats the taste of home. That's right. It's hard to change your tastes. Anyway, here's to your return home. Welcome back, everyone. Return home. Okay, hold on. Let's see what Debbie's thinking. Oh, how could they be? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Huh? She sounds a little hesitant. I've confirmed that this dream belongs only to Debbie because I'm unable to hear the thoughts of the other two people with her. So, this is the power of the Dendro Archon? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna better watch your thoughts from now on. <laughs> don't worry. I don't often use my powers like this. It's rather impolite. Alright, I need to get myself ready. It won't be easy to break it to her, but there's no avoiding it now. Yes, you're telling me? The great Dendro Archon! Uh, what brings you here? I'm sorry to interrupt your celebration, but have you noticed that what's happening here doesn't quite match up with your memories? I... I don't quite understand, Great Dendro Archon. What do you mean? I get it! The Dendro Archon is trying to say that it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that we're able to gather here. Oh? Hey, how about a cup of coffee for all of you? My treat. We just returned from a fruitful adventure. Memories... A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? Think carefully. You of all people should know what really happened to them. Are you sure that meeting here and chatting the day away like this isn't just a product of your own wishful thinking? <sighs> yes. The reports from the Steambird were true. The ship they were on struck a reef and sank. And I never heard from Basima and Gaspar again. Oh, that's what happened to them. Hey, come on now. What are you talking about, Debbie? Yeah, trust your memories. Nothing you see here is real. I get it now. This 
is a dream, isn't it? But since it's my dream, it doesn't matter if this is real or not. I enjoy the way things are here. I no longer have to face the tragedies of real life. These friends mean the world to me. Nobody else can understand me like they do. There's nothing wrong with continuing this dream. Is there? I'm worried that if you were to continue dreaming like this, the lines between dreams and reality will gradually become too blurred for you. These dreams will always give you what you want, while reality remains full of pain and difficult situations. If you are not careful, you can get hurt. Don't worry. I still have control. I won't let it go that far. Are you sure? Hey, how about we put all this troublesome stuff aside and get back to our coffee and snacks, hmm? <laughs> Whether it's just a dream or real life, you should be happy. You can't just brush off something like this. We don't even know how you people got here or where you even came from. Don't push it. <sighs> understand that you're just trying to look out for me. It seems that for now, this place is still relatively for now. For you, but I wonder if there's any way to go deeper into the dream. Huh. Now that you mention it, I once heard a strange voice tell me that there's an entrance here. A strange voice? I'm not interested in checking it out at the moment, but maybe I'll go in and have a look later. Okay. Thanks for your help. Just as I expected. We're only on the surface of this dream. Let's go. So these two cannot react. Yeah. But can you interact with them normally? Yes, you can. I, I think I need a moment to calm down. Hey, what's with the sad face? Yeah, there's no need to worry about all that complicated stuff. Okay, that's the entrance. Where are we now? I guess I'm back to. Yep, we're back here. Imagine we saw them. Well, we did. We did Solomon for a split second. But if we interact with Lumin in a dream or something, probably won't wake up too. <laughs> I have a guess. Let's see. If these dreams are connected, then there should be some sort of order to them. The fact that Debbie was able to realize yeah, she that realized. she was dreaming means that she is not very deep in the dream yet. But the space we're in has been turned upside down. Do you remember the characteristics of dreams that I mentioned earlier? Oh, right! Dreams are chaotic! That's right! It's possible that we're heading deeper into this dream now. And the deeper we go, the closer we'll get to the essence of the dream. Right! So the answers might be waiting for us deeper in the dream! Yes, and we should get ready for whatever we may encounter. Okay, and what is this? Uh, I know this is to unlock something. Oh, we just use this. Oh, okay. And what is this now? I see everything. Oh. Ouch, what the hell? The of Can we get everyone we in the group first? Time for takeoff. So I can easily... What the hell, man? Okay. You know too 
Okay, there we go. I'm supposed to go where now? Oh, here. Hi, are we back up here again? Uh, wait. Eh? Uh, no, this is different. Just going up, huh? What is it this time? There's a swing here, but we can't use it. Six hundred thirteen meters. I saw that. Put it here. Excuse me? Um, I'm pretty sure we have to go here. What happens if we... Uh, probably we we just going in a loop. Uh, <laughs> hopefully it's not a chest or what. <sighs> Next stream I assume. Yeah, where are we? Wait, were we already here oh, a little early? Yes, we know this one. This is probably Elmont's dream. Huh? Why would he start dreaming again? Mm, no, I don't think it's him. Yes, but it seems that the danger isn't enough to stop him from longing for his wife. Based on what we've learned so far, he must be sleeping more deeply for his dreams to appear here. But fortunately, he already knows us from before, so hopefully we'll be able to wake him up. Okay. I hope so. Oh. <laughs> before and this is our daughter hello it's a great honor to meet the dendro archon whoa dad you know the dendro archon that's amazing and what's this <gasps> is it a new toy <laughs> no it's paimon not a toy it just looks so real uh, anyway now's not the time for that since you can actually yeah, like this. this doesn't seem to add up with what we were expecting and he knows he's a dream someone Come on, you secretly went back on your own? Oh, right. We didn't see him in a moment of dreams earlier. Paimon thought he'd gone home. Sorry. I just had to make sure that Hydar could get a chance to see her mother. I had gotten pretty familiar with the hike, so I brought Hydar with me. I'm just glad we didn't meet any monsters along the way. Oh, he brought Hy So, yeah, Hydar here is also dreaming. Yes, I'm glad too. I didn't expect her to grow up so fast. It must have been very hard for him. I regret not being able to fulfill my role as a wife and a mother. No, don't talk like that. Let's leave all that unhappy stuff behind for now. Even if we're in a dream, it's still a blessing that we've been able this to reunite amazing. in this way. What should we do now? He knows, right? Should we tell him the truth? 
I mean, he knows it's a dream. You can... You can let me break the news. I should be the one to do it. I'm sorry, but... I should tell you that your dream did not create us. We are real people with our own consciousness. Mm -hmm. Like the last time we met, we are still investigating this dream. And we've already learned some things about it. So you mean... There's something nefarious with this dream as well? Ilmon, what's going on? It seems the reunion of our family is destined to only be temporary. Huh? Is mom leaving? Maybe. But in all likelihood, that is indeed how things will end. Oh. No, mom, you can't leave! I'm afraid I don't quite understand what's going on. Don't worry, Haidar. Mom's not going anywhere. Please, don't cry. Minar doesn't understand any of this. I'm fully aware that this is a dream. So that's why I've never told her the truth, but never mind. It's not like I would know what to say. I mean, I don't get any of the complicated stuff. Mm. But regardless of whether this dream is good or bad, you're here to resolve it, right? Yes. Then please... Let us enjoy this moment for just a while longer. Regardless of whatever caused this dream to come to pass, I feel extremely grateful to have had the chance to reunite with my family. But does this dream really have to disappear? I understand. I am afraid so. I'm sorry. Okay. I see. Please, come this way. You can go even deeper into the dream by heading in this direction. I have heard that the further down you go, the more pleasant the dreams become. And the more you want to stay. Damn, what the is answer this? you're looking for may also be found there. Go ahead. Thank you for helping us. And I'm truly sorry. You're welcome. It's not like I have any say in the matter. I'm just an ordinary person after all. Who am I to interfere with the work of a god? I'll be right behind you. I should at least let Minar and Hydar know what's going on here. Otherwise, my daughter might be mad at her mother after we wake up. <sighs> We're not doing something bad, are we, Nahida? That depends on how you define good and bad. You go right on ahead. I'll catch up with you later. Cheer up, Dad. And Mommy, too. Thank you, Hydar. My baby. Regular stairs wouldn't try to attack us. Is that an economy um bit fish up? Right. Something seems to be off about our theory. Ilman is clearly aware yeah, that he's dreaming, clearly and aware. he's enjoying it. Yeah. Rather than dreaming on a deeper level, he seemed he almost awake. seemed more awake. Because he knows it's a dream. I believe we're on the right track, but we just need another explanation. It's not that the dreams are getting deeper. It's the owner's attachment to the dreams that's getting stronger. But you would never mistake dreams for real life, right? Exactly. <laughs> Sometimes, Paimon almost wishes her dreams could be real. But it's just a quick thought. It's not long before Paimon's thinking about other things. <laughs> like sticky honey rose. Listen, we're real beings living in the real world. And that's where our focus should be. This also explains the insubstantiality of our dreams. No matter what they may become, we don't really care. But if we decide to abandon reality and embrace our dreams, then our dreams will become far more substantial. Oh, wait! Mm. I'm not starting to get it now! Your mind will begin to build the dream far more attentively, which in turn will make it feel more real. Do you remember how the Akasha can turn dreams into Nyana energy? 
Constructing a realistic dream consumes a similar energy. There's another dream out there responsible for this. Does that mean there's a host of these dreams here like Milu during the Subzero's festival? If we wake that person up, this collective dream will end, right? Mm hmm Most likely. But the collective dream in Sumeru City was created by the Akasha. And there's no and Akasha. Now the no? Akasha has been turned off. This has nothing to do with the Aranara. And humans are not capable mm -hmm. of creating a collective dream. This time I heard, 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 uh, said something about the Aranara. Huh? So, did someone manage to restart the Akasha? Mm, no. That's impossible. But they are probably a scholar of the Academia who had a close connection with the Akasha. Even so, how did they manage to do it? And how did they choose the host? Yeah, we haven't gotten to the end yet. Once we know their motive, all the questions will resolve themselves. Alright. You know what? I realize. This is like the longest we got a, a trial character that we can use. I'm still using Nahida trial for quite long here. <laughs> it's not just for a battle. Oh great, I have to fight this right? Should I put a zombie or something or a healer, but whatever. There is no escape! Brace yourself! Take yourself to whom? Alright, hold up. Think you can get away? Now you shall perish! I put my gems. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. I don't even need to burst. Luckily they show us where to go. <laughs> if not, I don't know what am I supposed to do. Because we're going in circles. Alright, one here and one here. We finally made it! The destination is right ahead! Is this really the last one? We are in Sumeru. Wow, a new place! Holy shit, this reminds me of the. Uh, well, it's just new to Paimon in this dream. <laughs> it's Sumeru, but it looks like one of those official domains in this the should be the final destination. Final destination. <gasps> using her skill. Look for clues. Hmm. You can't see anything in the map, right? Well, we're not in the map. We're in a dream. <laughs> Everyone hold hands. Alright. No one here. Except for these two. Hold on. Yeah. I see everything. Can. Ordinary dream. Wait, Anisa cannot? 
So she's not. Okay, she's not a uh, dreamer. Yeah, so those two don't need each other. What about. I see everything! Inas is dreaming. Shania has such good taste. I can never go wrong with her opinion. No, it doesn't seem to be her. Okay, just checking if there's anything. <laughs> what about this place? I wish Rakesh could be more assertive, but I guess I'm also happy enough with the way things are. No, it's not her, unfortunately. Oh, you found it. You know, I've heard that plants grow better if you play music for them. And on that note, it's been a while since I last heard you play. Sorry, I've been a little busy these last couple days. Moses. One of the researchers in the academia. Oh, the Dendro Archon. What a pleasant surprise. Hmm? Oh, welcome, great Dendro Archon. And your companions, too. Welcome. I'm Amira. I run the flower shop here. And this is my husband, Moses. Yes, how may we Wait, help you? Was it, was it her or him? Was... You already know all about me. There's no need for all the pleasantries. Perhaps I should call you the dream's owner? The dream's owner. <laughs> As expected of the Dendro Archon. So he's the one who made all this. Okay. I'm sorry, Amira. It seems my research has attracted the Dendro Archon's attention. Why don't you go back to the flower shop? I'll come help you a little later. Okay. Of course, dear. I'll see you later. It appears that I was too naive to think I could deceive the Dendro Archon in person like this. To avoid looking like too much of a fool, allow me to ask the first question. How well would you say you understand this dream? This dream was built by the Akasha, and it has the power mm. to create imaginary people who no longer exist in the real world. That's actually amazing. As for you, you found a unique way to become the owner of this dream. Going so far as to have even given up the ability to wake up again. Given up? The ability to wake up? <laughs> Impressive. You truly are the embodiment of wisdom. Please, tell me how you were able to arrive at such a conclusion. In return, I'll answer the question you're most curious about. It's simple. Apart from you, this space only consists of real people who are dreaming and imaginary people who are created yeah. here. Although you are here and appear no different from the others, I can't sense your dream. Can't sense a dream. How can I wake up a person who's already awake? Fascinating. Since you're the fully awake owner of this dream, it can never collapse from you waking up. Theoretically, this should also give you absolute control over this place. I have to admit, it really doesn't get much better than that. But even knowing all of that, one question how did remains. You do it? How did you do it? Yeah. Is it the answer right in front of you, great Dendro Archon? It's because I've dedicated my entire reality to this dream. I uploaded my entire consciousness into the Akasha when it was still running. Entire consciousness. Actually, this all started because of an accident. My original goal was not about the Akasha or a collective dream. No. You were motivated above all to create a hyper-realistic person. The desire to reconnect with a real loved one is the one shared sentiment between all our dreamers. That's right. However, human models are too complicated. Only the Akasha has a Nyana energy supply powerful enough for me to generate and sustain my models. Ooh. The Akasha is truly magnificent. If I siphoned a minuscule amount of its energy, nobody would even notice. And even this minuscule amount of energy was already more than enough for my purposes. Instant, even using instant. discrete methods, I was still able to train a fairly realistic person. I named my first work Amira. Huh? The girl, you mean the girl just we just saw? She and 
I entered the Academia on the same day. Starting with admission procedures, we bumped into each other six times on just that first day. And because of that one day, we eventually went on to fall in love. We studied, conducted research, and made breakthroughs together. Our rhythm was always in step. I felt like we were two separate bodies that shared the same heart. However, Ella's eye later took her from me. <sighs> yes, I need more training samples to perfect Amira's personality. I found like... their details in the Akasha's mm. database. Using the pretext of testing for mental health disorders, I implanted signaling devices in their bodies. Signaling devices? This way I could connect them to a network, and Amira could feel their yearning. Little by little, they helped her to grow and develop a warm, human personality. To improve my efficiency and allow myself to focus on nothing but my research, I uploaded my consciousness as well, and became a part of the network. Hmm. So, technically speaking, it's not that you won't wake up, it's that you can't wake up. Yes. Because the Akasha was suddenly turned off, I lost all of my Nyana energy. I became imprisoned Ooh. in the very network I had constructed. At first, I panicked. But, after coming to grips with the situation, I realized that I could restart this world as long as I could find a replacement source of Nyana energy. So, what did you use? That means everyone in the network is providing you with Nyana energy! Oh... That's all there really is to it. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I'm just saving them as well as myself. I provide a beautiful dream, and in return, I harvest their Nyana energy as fuel for the dream. Hmm. They can wake up anytime they wish. People need to sleep anyway, so why not have some beautiful dreams while they rest? But... I agree. This is the home we spent a great deal of effort on to build for ourselves. Yeah, she's right. We're staying here of our own free will. I don't understand this at all, but... I just want to spend some more time with my family. I don't want them to be sad. Thank you, dear. Great Dendro Archon, I hope you can understand. You don't need to gather around here. It's all right. The Great Dendro Archon is nothing if not kind and considerate towards her people. She won't interfere with what we're doing here. Uh-oh. Now he's playing dirty! He used to imagine people to influence the real people who turn the real dreamers against us. It seems like I won't need you to answer my last question. You're willing to tell me all your secrets because you have nothing to fear. If you use real people as your weapon and turn them against their Archon, then there's nothing the Archon can do. They just want to be with the people they cherish. I don't think there's anything wrong with me providing them with that opportunity. They don't wish to eternally part with their spouses and friends. What's so wrong about that? <sighs> if you understood humans a little better, or had also experienced firsthand the absolute devastation of loss, then perhaps you wouldn't be so cold towards us. Hmm. It's not cold at all. If you had used your talents and determination for a just cause, you could have become a sage of the new generation. Unfortunately, you've committed one of the six cardinal sins of the Academia by attempting the forbidden and fearing none. You equated people's feelings with cold Nyana energy and deprived them of the pain that they have to face. You lured them into these dreams and even now remain completely unaware of how evil all of this truly is. Pain? Luring? Those kinds of things haven't existed here from the moment this world was created. She's right here. This is Ilmon's child, Hydar. Huh? My daughter? What's wrong with her? This dream relies on a set network, which means that only those with devices planted in their bodies can enter this world. Yeah. So even her... Carefully think back and retrace your steps. I secretly went back to the mountainside with Hydar. Uh -huh. Minar was already there waiting for me, and Hydar was able to see her mother. Uh -huh. uh, you mean she isn't actually the real Hydar? Oh, she's not the real her. 
Yeah, she doesn't have the thing with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, he can't just bring her if she doesn't have the thing. No, because unlike yeah, she you, can't enter. she can't enter this dream. The moment you came into this dream, it you created, created it. a Hydar to realize your wish of reuniting with your family. So, tell me, where's the real Hydar? I should have checked with her. Now he does skill when, at that moment. She's still out there on the mountainside. That's right. And she must have been terrified to see her father not in his right mind. Not to mention the monsters in that area. The situation is very dangerous. If the hide are still out there, then... What are you talking about, Dad? I don't understand. Oh, no. I must wake up right now. I can't leave her there alone. Oh. It seems the others have also remembered something. People try to avoid pain and stay in their perceived bubbles of yeah. safety out of an instinct to protect themselves. This is human nature, but it is also one of their weaknesses. However, why are there still so many people striving to move forward even when they know the path ahead is dangerous and painful? It's because people don't only live for themselves. They have families, loved ones, friends, and communities. They have dreams that they are Very still messy. trying to achieve. But in this dream, you showed them only the most comfortable and soothing things. This entire world has been built on the foundation of buried and unseen pain. It's all just a well-devised scam. It seems like I've stayed in the dream for too long. I still have so many things I haven't done. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I thought gods didn't understand humans. That would have explained why they created such a flawed world where countless tragedies took place. I didn't expect you to arrive at the answer through sheer power of observation. But unfortunately, it means nothing now. If you wanted to spend a little time in the waking world, go right ahead. In any case, I wanted to spend some time alone with Amira. As go, long as the stream and, continues to exist, and time with me you'll running. come back. <sighs> Humans aren't as strong as you think. And even if you're a god, they won't always listen to you. It's time to purge all the extraneous data and noise. What are you up to this time? Wait, what? Monsters, be careful! Wait, 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 where did they come from? I am the master of this dream. I can create endless waves of monsters with the snap of a finger. Don't worry. You want to fight before they get the hurt. Arch one? You crazy. Mira doesn't like to see others in pain. Hold on, hold on. I'm not gonna you know really... what's good for you. Leave now. Hold on. Oh. Hey. Yeah, yeah, whatever. The temple of wisdom. Really? <sighs> yeah. There's more. Okay. Come on. Think you can get away. Let's Shine just down. Pull everyone. I see everything. Link everyone. Everyone help Alright. What the hell man? find me and as long as people yearn for happiness they will return here and rebuild this paradise hey dad uh, what's that the stream is spiraling out of control and it's collapsing now oh sh no what what Everyone is turning to monsters. Every made up people here. Amira. 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 Uh oh. Uh oh, she's gonna turn. Amira, are you alright? I don't feel well. No good. No, no, no. 
changing into Please, no. Oh no Oh no <laughs> She turned into a wolf No, that's not good We better stop What? What should I do? Where did this go? Oh no. He left because he doesn't want you anymore. Me no. There's so many of them. Oh no, I got damage. Time for takeoff. Here we go. Ah. The temple of wisdom. Pull them in. All the fake people turned to monsters. He's not very proficient in using the Akasha's technology, and he spent a lot of Nyana energy creating monsters. Now the system is out of control. All the people he created also turned into monsters, including Amira. It's terrible, even for a dream. Even Paimon's freaked out. <sighs> Paimon oh, can't imagine thing. what they're going through. The good news is that the chaos seems to have subsided. Now we only need to wake up the people here, and let them return to their real lives. Amira. My dear Amira. They're all gone. It was just a big dream after all. I couldn't change my fate. And my knowledge turned out to be useless. What a cruel world. Do you still think this is our fault? I don't care about that anymore. The Nyana energy used to sustain this dream has all been transformed into monsters. This dream will soon collapse in my consciousness along with it. Let me disappear with Amira. I'd rather turn into dust than to ever wake up again. It seems that everything that's happened is too much for him. He's lost all hope. I think seeing Amira turn into a monster was punishment enough for him. After uh. comprehending the hollowness of the unreal, it's time to revisit the meaning of existence. Existence? <laughs> I'm different from the others. I've long given up everything outside of my consciousness. Using my knowledge of the Akasha, I have a way to extract your consciousness from here and put it inside a knowledge capsule. The Academia has probably kept your body, so you should be able to wake up soon. No need. Just let me disappear. Reality means nothing to me now. This isn't compassion. I won't let you escape your punishment by simply disappearing. As for your life after that, it will be up to you how you want to exist. Alright, Traveler and Paimon, we should go back. We can finally wrap up this whole thing. Oh. Saw something. Hmm. Oh, oh great. You're awake. Everybody has started to wake up. We've heard similar reports from around the city as well. From the looks of it, you were able to successfully resolve the issue. Yes, though it took us a good deal of effort. There will be many people gathering here shortly, so please do your best to maintain <laughs> order. I need to go to the academia with them now, but we'll be back soon. We need to see more race. Are we going to ask about that skull? Yes. But it may take some time for him to wake up after his consciousness returns to his body. We can leave the rest to the Matra. Alright. 
Oh, I'm not using the trial anymore. Okay. Mm -hmm. I felt a violent tremor somewhere deep within my dream. And then I woke up. I guess we'll all wake up from our dreams sooner or later. True. I'm really glad I reached out to you earlier. Otherwise, we wouldn't <laughs> have been able to handle this situation on our own. You did a great job as well. Yes. Wait, can I? Hey, the traveler and the Dendro Archon. Oh, we can. Must have done something deep inside the dream. Damn, I should have checked everyone in the dream just now. Damn, even if you don't have Nahida Trow, do they even have details in the story, story quest? Wow. It's detailed. Okay, let's go to... Uh, we are already here. We just have to go higher. Huh? Wait, how high is this? Oh, just take the waypoint. of the Akasha. He hasn't regained consciousness yet. That's a different name, And is still <laughs> receiving treatment at Bimarstan. Huh? Moses, yeah. Moses? I guess he didn't want to be recognized or bothered by anyone. Please, give the knowledge stored in this to the Matra and ask them to import it into Benuni's brain. Understood. But for safety reasons, I need to know why. It's simple. This contains his consciousness. It's long been trapped inside of a dream. He's committed an act that affected the safety of Sumeru. After he wakes up, I'll inform the General Mahamatra of all the details. I see. I'll take care of this right away. Thank you, Great Dendro Art. Mm -hmm. No problem. <laughs> all right. Everyone should have gathered at the moment of dreams by now. Let's head back. All right. <sighs> and let me. <laughs> Especially in front of someone as important as the Dendro Archon. Wait, how? Oh, where is it again? Right oh, here. Oh, that's Let's so be cool. Let's quiet and just listen in. I wonder what she's going to say. Hello, all of you who have just woken up. I'm sorry for interrupting your beautiful dreams. I may have acted a little cold when handling things in the dream. I sincerely apologize for that. Dreams have amazing power. They inspire us to remain resolute in the face of adversity and help those with aspirations achieve their desires. The dreams also have the potential to exploit people, confuse the senses, and distort the truth. Unfortunately, you are all chosen as prey for an elaborate scheme. As I've said before, I am still learning and cannot fully empathize with the pain of all the loss you've experienced. But just take a good look around you, and you'll see many other people who have had similar experiences. You should be proud that you've been able to gather here and look toward the future together. The path of life is long, and it's hard for us to see the destination. This leads us to ask a lot of difficult questions. What's the meaning of life? What's the purpose of my existence? Why do I keep experiencing pain and loss? Uh, of course, the most comfortable choice is to stop progressing, give up thinking, and just keep repeating whatever you're already familiar with. Mm. Whenever you have such thoughts, just look at the people and things around you. 
Some people work hard all day so that their families can have a hot meal on the table at night. Some people travel all over the world in order to create art that resonates with all of Tavat. Some venture in search of the world's secrets to prevent rapidly approaching, yet still unknown, world-shattering catastrophes. Life is not just about yourself. Each and every one of your actions shapes you and the world around you. <sighs> Look, friends and family will remember what you've done. And even some people you've never met may benefit from your actions. Therefore, many people will strive forward to forge new paths. Even if they have to endure great pain to do so, once you begin your journey on that same difficult yet rewarding path, you'll come to know the answers to those big existential questions, yet they will no longer feel as life-defining as they did before. But if you were to believe that life is nothing but an empty, ephemeral dream, then that's also the only thing it will ever become. You are free to choose how you want to live your lives, but as your Archon, I should first make this information known to everyone. In the end, it's up to you whether you want to embrace a beautiful dream at the cost of your real life. Oh, that's a good message. Nahida said she wanted to speak with us alone. It seems like she went to the plaza in front of the academia. Before that... All this time I never realized this is what Professor Aisha wanted. How did I not see it earlier? I'm so happy I finally found a place to stay. Should we celebrate and go eat something special? I see everything! No, sir. I should buy her a drink later. And Ken? I think I'm about to lose my lunch. Was it Inas or Tana? Hey. I'm so happy I that was Tana. found a place to stay. Inas. I guess it'll take some time for me to get used to my new life. This is so detailed, man. But Even if you don't have a trial, uh, Nahida. Hey, you're man already, right? Everyone hold hands! Finally, it's over. It all went perfectly, but it was way too tiring. Since we were neighbors in the dream, how about we rent a place together? Sounds good. I can't afford a house on my own anyway, but I'm sure life will get better. I'm getting ready to go on an adventure, and I'm taking this plant with me. I shouldn't just sit here waiting for her to come back. Professor Aisha was so determined to explore those secrets, so I should go take a look too. Thank you. May we meet again in the future. All right. I discovered that Nasser and I get along pretty well. We both have pretty straightforward personality. It also turns out we both disagreed with a Dendro Archon. One in real life, and one in the dream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still a little dizzy from sleeping so long. Just give me a moment here. I'm really glad I reached out to you earlier. Otherwise... We wouldn't have been able to handle this situation. You did a great job as well. Oh, I think we talked to him already. Thank you for rescuing me. I'm really sorry. Luckily, Hydar wasn't injured because of my stupid mistake. Dad said you're amazing. You're real heroes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, at the plaza. This is something interesting. Hey. Still doesn't work. Okay, clever. Just one more try. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't work. <laughs> Let's see. Fallen 
prisoner to them long ago. That dream was incredibly beautiful and mm -hmm. enticing. Ordinary people couldn't see through it and easily lost themselves within it. But as long as you can still wake up, you can still move forward with your life. Huh? What makes you say that? Right! You said that you didn't understand human feelings, but we saw how considerate you were with all these people. Your speech just now really connected with everyone. Connected you did a good everyone. job! <laughs> Thank you. I've heard a lot of sad stories along this journey, and several of them have touched my heart. You can't say that the victims of the dream really did anything wrong. And mm -hmm. what they wanted was also not unreasonable. That's why I could understand them when they tried to resist us and protect the dream. But all of my understanding and stirred feelings probably can't even account for even 1% of the pain they've experienced. I don't think this 1% can be seen as an example of what you call empathy. You're too hard on yourself, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright. I suppose going out into the world will help my confidence grow. I've learned that emotions are nothing like knowledge, and that's why it's hard for me to put them into words sometimes. Benyuni, or Mercedes, said that I had never personally felt the pain of loss. <sighs> but I have a vague feeling that this isn't true. Right, Rukadavata. Should we tell her? The moment I entered the dream, I felt like I Again, was wrapped I like in a blanket of warm feelings. It was so warm that it felt like I had returned to the start of my life. And I didn't want to wake up anymore. Yes. She saw something but she doesn't know what it was. But when I opened my eyes, the feeling was gone without a trace. If I have to make an analogy for it, I would say I can no longer see words on a piece of paper after they have been erased, but I can still see the slight indentations of where the words had been written. But now that I've experienced this dream, I okay. think I can say with confidence that I won't dwell too much on the meaning of that form. So yeah, we just keep it a secret still. It's enough that I can tell I was once supported by that form. She kind of knows, its existence but has allowed no, me to get to where I am today. If I dwell too much on its exact nature, I would be putting the cart before the horse. I gave a speech to inspire my people. So if I were to fail to live up to those words myself, then that would be too embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Even if she has been forgotten, my it doesn't matter what all the proof she once existed. You still telling her you should respect, yes. Yeah, not important. <laughs> okay, since we just woke up, let's stretch a little bit. A new day is about to begin. <sighs> what a story quest. There you go. Now he does story quest then. 60 Primo gems. I have five eight six. Okay. Well, that's it for a Nahida story quest. And you know what? I think I'll do it. If you didn't know, I lost fifty fifty twice. I did not win the fifty fifty. I got Jin and then Nahida. Now I want to get Yoimiya. I lost again. So my PT is now at three. I'll just do it right now. Lah. Why not? I don't think I'll get this early. I oh, guess all my luck gone already. 54, 55. I skipped 6. Yep, okay, skip. Alright. So, yeah. <laughs> That's it for Naida Story Quest. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.